boiler heat balance. To make a heat balance from one boiler comparable to one from another boiler, the energy terms are converted into percentages where 100% is the heating value of the fuel. The items in the boiler heat balance may be computed per pound of coal on the asphalt or dry basis, but the energy values will be different for each. However, when transferred to percentage, there will be no differences for the two cases as in terms of percentage design. So like numerical value, uh, uh, energy values. So energy supplied to the burden by one pound of fuel is distributed among the following items in the ASME, ASME short form heat balance, all expressed in the units of BTU per pound of fuel. So we are using English units here. So Q1, Q1 is the equal to energy absorbed by the boiler fluid. Q2 is equal to energy loss due to dry flue gases. Q3 is equal to energy loss due to moisture and fuel. Q4 is equal to energy loss due to evaporating and superheating moisture formed by combustion of hydrogen. You survive as the energy loss due to incomplete combustion of carbon to carbon monoxide. So Q6 is equal to energy loss due to combustible and produce. Q7 is energy loss due to radiation and unaccounted for. Okay. So the explanation for this item. So energy absorbed by the fluid, Q1, this is, this is the useful. Useful output of the steam generator is the heat transfer to the fluid. Sometimes it is advantageous to divide this item into heat transfer to the fluid by proper by the boiler proper, the air pit, air pit heater, the economizer, and the superheater. So part of boiler top. For our purposes, combine all this division into Q sub one equal to W. So W times S2 minus S1 over W sub F. And which W so W is the weight of fluid through flowing through the boiler during the test in pounds. S1 and S2, the fluid interface entering and leaving the boiler respectively in video per pound. Boiler means if I'm boiler proper, air heater, economizer, and so heater. Total yana S1 and S2. So that is meaning. If an H1 is H2 is the basis operator, H1 is the information cycle. Okay, so W sub F is equal to weight of fuel bond during test. During test, okay, it is preferable to operate the boiler without low down during the test. However, if the test is of such long duration that low down is necessary, equation 46 should be altered appropriately. So, by heat balance. And Q sub 1 is equal is expressed as percentage of the higher heating value of the fuel is the boiler efficiency. Next is the Q2. So energy loss due to dry flue gases. This loss is the greatest of any of the boiler losses for a properly operated unit. Thus, Q sub 2 is equal to 0.24 times weight of dry gas and T sub G minus T sub A in which 0.24 is the specific heat of the flue gas at concentration in BTU per pound per pound. And at the top, you know, that it is 0.24, so the same balance. And actually, the flue gas is variable, the PDC temperature, and the value of specific heat. So, you know, it is 0.24. And this of this equal the temperature of the gas state in the boiler. This will be the temperature of air entering the boiler. Then energy loss due to evaporating and separating moisture in the fuel. So may loss is yan. Diba? Kasi di mo naman ka na moisture. So pagkakad ka ng heat, pupunta yung ibang heat po sa moisture. So moisture entering the boiler with the fuel leaves a separated vapor in the same way as does the moisture from the combustion of hydrogen. So therefore, the formula for calculating this loss may be derived in the same way as that for Q4. So Q4 is next. This is the separating moisture and the fuel. 
uh, yung moisture content. So Q3 is equal to M sub F times 1089 plus 0.46 times T sub D minus T sub F. Okay, itong 0.46 is the specific ito sa corrected paper to, para yan ito, 0.5. So when T sub G is, is less than 5.75.9, Q sub T is equal to M sub F times 1066 plus 0.5 T sub G minus T sub F when T sub G is greater than 5.75. So M sub F is the moisture and fuel and T sub F temperature of fuel. Not that itong, ito kasi sa ASME, short form heat balance tong formula. Okay? So ito yung pag ginamit ito, magamitin yung equation. Actually, ito equal to sa enthalpy, separated enthalpy ng steam. Okay? Ito lang yung range ng value niya. Ito lang pinag-consider niya na for less than 5.75, at T sub G, ito yung approximate value. Okay. So, ito naman sa greater than 575. So, super heating. So, ito yung approximate. So, pwede nyo rin tingnan sa table. Same table. But not this time. Kasi nga, ito yung sunod tayo sa short form heat balance. Diba? So, ito yung sa lecture. Huwag yung gupo ng ibang. May nakita kayo yung ibang approach dito. Ito lang ang gamitin nyo. Okay? So dito, dito lang tayo mag-stick. So yung pag nagkamahan ka ng ibang book, wala sa lecture, so that is cross out. That means, hindi nyo dapat pag-alalang pa yun. Kung pag uh, as a student, kayo yung tinuturuan, pag ating nang solusyon nyo, yung group na mag-check pa, mag-aaral lang ang ginawa nyo. Dahil kinopya nyo lang yung problem. Mas di ba? O pinasob lang. Pag-amit ka ng ibang equation, pag ating nang sinubmit nyo na, so hindi na lang yung mag-check, so yung cross out na lang yan. Okay? So, hindi nga tinuro. So kung ano yung tinuro, yun ang gagawin. Okay. So energy loss due to evaporating and superating moisture form by combustion of hydrogen. Di ba carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, yung composition ng fuel mo. Hydrogen, moisture. Yeah. So ito naman, moisture form by combustion of hydrogen. So water form by burning hydrogen leaves the boiler in the form of superated vapor. And its energy cannot be released to the boiler fluid until the vapor can be condensed. With fuel temperature, temperatures of 300 Fahrenheit or more in the vapor at a partial pressure less than atmospheric, the condensation is impossible within the boiler. Q4 represents the loss of energy due to the inability of the boiler to condense this superheated vapor to a liquid at the temperature corresponding to the temperature of incoming air. Thus, Q sub 4 is equal to 9 H sub 2 times H minus H sub FF, in which H sub 2 is weight of hydrogen in the fuel as enthalpy of superheated vapor. So ito yun yun. H sub FF is the enthalpy of liquid at incoming fuel temperature. So, Yan. So, pupunta rin tayo dito sa same equation. Ito ang reason niya. Since the partial pressure of the superheated vapor would be difficult to determine and since this loss of energy is usually small, so wala tayo kasi pressure temperature so hindi siya. Okay, so, wala. Di mo mag, may hirap makuha yun. So, ito yung approximation niya. Equation 15 may be simplified by assuming the vapor pressure corresponding to a situation temperature of 150 Fahrenheit. So Q sub 4 is equal to 9 H2 times 1089 plus 0.46 times T sub D minus T sub F when T sub D is less than 575. And Q sub 4 is equal to 9 H2 times 1066 plus 0.5 T sub D minus T sub F when T sub D is greater than 575. So yan. Just click lock ko dito sa equation. Ha? Pag binigyan ka ng problem, so ito ang gamitin niya. So kaya pag may magpapasog kayo sa labas, so yung tapos na ano, Ibigay niyo yung reference niyo. Para hindi siya maganap ng reference, iba ang magamit ng formula. So, sayang lang yung value dito. Okay? So, the proper value of H2 to be used in the equation for Q sub 4 is the amount of hydrogen in the fuel that is available for combustion. Ultimate analysis lists all the hydrogen in the fuel, including hydrogen present in the fuel in the form of moisture. So, obtain the value of H2 for equation 51 and 52, 
deduct one ninth of the weight of moisture from the hydrogen gas tank. Okay. The weight of moisture will be found from the proximate analysis. So example na natin to. Okay. Post muna tayo. Okay. Energy loss due to incomplete combustion. Ito na yung effect ng carbon monoxide. Products formed by incomplete combustion may be mixed with oxygen and burn again with a further release of energy. Carbon monoxide is the only one of these gases that can be determined conveniently in the power plant test. Therefore, the loss due to incomplete combustion refers specifically to the incomplete combustion of carbon to carbon monoxide. The difference in the energy release due to burning carbon to carbon monoxide rather than to carbon dioxide is given as 10,160 billion per pound of carbon. Therefore, Q sub 5 is 10,160 C sub I, or 10,160 times carbon equivalent burn times CO over CO2 plus CO. Percentage or decimal by volume. Uh, may weight yan, may weight. Uh, sa gases pa ito, tama sa RSAT, by volume. Okay. So energy loss due to unconscious carbon, all combustible and the refuse may be assumed to be carbon. Since the other combustible parts of coal would probably be distilled out of the fuel before light embers would drop into the acid. Any unborn carbon in the flue gas or fly ash or in the aspect refuse is included. So Q sub is equal to 14,600 times C minus CAB, equation 54. If the unborn combustible is determined from the heating value of all refuse, then Q sub is equal to W sub R times S sub BR, equation 55. So unaccounted, uh, yeah. okay. So ibig sabihin, if given yung heating value of the fuse, ito yung gamitin mo. Huwag mo nang gamitin to, okay? Pag wala, so huwag mo nang hanapin to. May given ng given na C, taka CAB. So pag given yung tatlo, simple, maldirive mo yung CAB, ito na gamitin mo. So sa problem given siya. So ito na yung app one. Okay, unaccounted for and radiation loss. So this is this loss is due to radiation in complete combustion, hydrogen resulting in hydrogen and hydrocarbons in the blue gas, and unaccounted for losses. Under the ASME code, the radiation loss may be estimated separately and not combined with unaccounted for losses. However, when they are combined, Q sub 7 is equal to higher heating value, minus Q sub 1, minus Q sub 2, minus Q sub 3, minus Q sub 4, minus Q sub 5, minus Q sub 6. This is the short form balance. Yung meron namang long form. So yung detalyado na yun, marami nang hanapin yung mga inputs. Example number eight. Calculate the boiler heat balance on the ASPIS basis for the following data. UL is the Cherokee County, Kansas code. So, from table, I point the yata yung power plant, so ito yung value mo, ultimate analysis, carbon is 0.7181, hydrogen 0 0.0523, and this is mala, oxygen is 0 0.1015, sulfur is 0 0.0334, nitrogen is 0 0.012, ash is 0 0.0827. Then, the proximate analysis, M is equal to 0 0.0509, volatile matter 0.3447, Fixed carbon is 52.17. This is percent, sir. Huh? 52.17 percent. So, as is 0 0.0827. Okay, very thankful. Okay, so 0.5217 as 0 0.0827. Hitting value higher is 13,082 meters per pound. So ito, makikita mo ito doon sa table doon sa pattern. 
And the gas analysis given is 14.2%. Carbon dioxide. The 0.3% carbon monoxide, 4.3% hydrogen oxygen. Then coal part is 22,260 pounds per hour. The refuse is 2,560 pounds per hour. Water is 202,030 pounds per hour. Water entering is 224.7 Fahrenheit. Steam leaving is 476 PSI gauge and 743 Fahrenheit. Fuel and room temperature is 32 Fahrenheit. Gas temperature is 463 Fahrenheit. So given, so as listed, ito, pa hindi ka na mag, ano, tapos mag-inglis na kita. So ito mahama, so ito, uh, gas analysis, ito importante, 14.2%, kasi ito yung talagang given sa problem, 20%, carbon monoxide, 12.3% oxygen, then the nitrogen is 100 minus 14.2 minus 0.3 minus 4.3 minus is equal to 81.2% by volume. Required is the heat, boiler heat balance. First, compute the refuse. The modulus of R is equal to refuse of a coal part is equal to 2560 divided by 22,660 is equal to 0.1150 pounds per pound of fuel. Then the carbon actually burned is CAB is equal to C minus WR plus A is equal to 0.7181 minus 0.115 plus 0.0827 or 0.6858 pounds per pounds of fuel. Magingat sa units, ha? Lang ka maging pounds per carbon mo to. Okay? Diba yun? Pounds of air. Diba? So, kailangan magingat yan. Ang pilang wala. Pero pag ginamit ko sa multiplying mo yun sa iba, so hindi ko kasalanan yan. So, the weight of dry gas is 11 CO2 plus 8 times O2 plus 7 times CO plus N2 over 3 times CO2 plus CO times CAB plus S over 267 plus S over 160. But there were some values, which is 11 times 14.2 plus 8 times 4.3 plus 7 times 0.3 plus 21.2 divided by 3 times 14.2 plus 0.3, take line equation, times 0.6858 plus 3.34 over 267, okay, plus 3.34 over 160. Okay, laging tingnan ng equation na. So, weight of dry gas is 12.24 pounds per dry gas divided by pounds of fuel. Then, the carbon burn to CO is equal to CI is equal to CO over CO2 plus CO times CAB is equal to 0.3 over 14.2 plus 0.3 times 0.6858 or 0.01419 pounds per pounds of fuel. Then, next, kukuha na natin yung mga input ng site para sa equation. Hydrogen burn to higher Water in, bo in boiler is 5.23 minus 5.09 over 9 is 4.67%. Without don't have this discussion. Huh? O2 burn to hydrogen in water is 10.15 minus 8 over 9 is 5.62%. Then the weight in actual air is weight of AA is equal to weight of digest plus 8 times H2 minus O2 over 8 minus CAB minus S minus N2 equal to 12.24 plus, ito yung 12.24, yan, 8 times 0 0.0467 minus 0 0.0562 over 8, then minus 0 0.6858 minus 0 0.054 is minus 0 0.012, or 11.83 pounds per pound of fuel. Then critical air is equal to 11.53 C plus 34.36 times it's of 2 minus O2 over 8 times plus 4.32. C is equal to CAB. So the theoretical is equal to 11.53 times 0.6858 plus 34.36 times 0 0.0523 minus 0 0.1015 over 8 plus 4.32 times 0 0.0334 or 9.412 pounds per pound of fuel. Then excess air is weight of actual air divided by weight of theoretical air minus 1 is equal to 11.83 over 9.412 minus 1 is 0.0568 or 25.69%. Okay. 
Okay. Andito na itong equation na kailangan niya. So, kasi sa pag-review niya, isang, ano lang ito, kompeta na. Na, for the higher heat balance, the energy absorbed by the boiler fluid is Q sub 1 is equal to W sub W times H sub 2 minus H sub 1 over the weight of fuel. Meron tayong W sub W is 22,030 pounds per hour. W sub F is equal to 22,260 pounds per hour. From steam table, H sub 2 is equal to H at 476 PSI gauge. 742 Fahrenheit is equal to 1,082.1 video per pound of steam. H sub 1 is equal to H sub F at 324.7 Fahrenheit is equal to 295.3 video per pound. Therefore, Q sub 1 is equal to 202,030 times 1,382.1 minus 295.3 over 22,260 is 9,864 billion per pound. This is your Q1. Then, energy loss due to dry flow gases, Q2 is equal to 0.24 times root of dry gas, times T sub B minus T sub A. T sub B is 463 by 9, T sub A is equal to 82 by 9. So the weight of dry gas is 12.54 pounds per pound. Will be well as calculated. So Q sub is equal to 0.24 times 12.24 times 0.60 minus 82 is 1,119 meter per pound. Next, energy loss due to evaporating and superheating moisture and the fuel. T sub D is less than 575 Fahrenheit as it was stated. Yeah. So Q sub is equal to M sub F times 1089 plus 0.46 T sub D minus T sub F. T sub G is 460, T sub F82, M sub F is 0.0509. Q sub T is equal to 0.0509 times 1089 plus 0.46 times 460 minus 82 is 0.0509. Okay. Then, energy loss due to evaporation and superheating is equal to 0.0509 times 1089 minus 0.46 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 times 1089 So, Q sub 4 is 9H2, 9.089 plus 0.46, T sub G minus T sub F. T sub G is 460 by 9, T sub F is 82 by 9, and sub 2 is 0.0467. So, Q sub 4 is equal to 9 times 0.0467 times 1.089 plus 0.46 times 460 minus 82 is 55.3 meter per pound. Next, the energy loss due to incomplete combustion is Q sub 5. Equal to 10,160 C sub I. Then Q sub I is equal to 10,160 times 0.01419 or 144.5 pounds. Next, energy loss due to unconsumed carbon is Q sub 6 is equal to 14,600 times C minus C AB or 14,600 times 0.7181 minus 0.685 or 472 BT per pound. Napalakaya. Then, an accounted for in radiation loss is the difference. Q sub 7 is equal to HSP minus Q sub 1 minus Q sub 2 minus Q sub 3 minus Q sub 4 minus Q sub 5 minus Q sub 6. So Q sub 7 is equal to 13,082 minus 964 minus 1119 minus 62 minus 513 minus 144 minus 472 is 908 meter per pound. Um, now, in combination forms, ito yung format niya. Boiler heat balance, this is the format na. So, item is Q sub 1, description, so nalagay nyo dito. Energy, BT, energy, BT per pound, kung ano calculate nyo, then yung percentage. Huwag nyo nang magawin to, yung iba, binabago to. So, sayo yung episode nila, so mali. So, nalagay ka ng format, so ito yung format ko. Para mong problema, di ba? Kung may iba dyan, Pinago, Q sub 1, diretso, Q sub 2, ano yun? So, walang description. So, mali pa rin. Sayang ng calculation nyo. Okay? Mali wala yun. So, item, Q sub 1, energy absorbed by the product fluid is 9864 video per pound. Q sub 2, energy loss due to light blue gases is 1,119. Q sub 3, yan, is 62. Q sub 4, ang total na is 3,282. So, dapat mag-total siya ay equal. Then, kung kung may percentage, 96.4 divided by 13.082 times 100% is 75.4. Ito rin, ganun. 
So, a term used for many years and is still used to some extent for a small boiler is the boiler of power. Originally, this term was, was intended to relate the output of the steam generator to the same requirement of a prime mover. Improvements in the design of both the prime mover and the boilers have made this misnomer obsolete. One boiler of power is equivalent to the generation of 34.5 pounds of steam per hour from matter at 212 Fahrenheit to saturated steam also at 212 Fahrenheit, that is, from and at 212 Fahrenheit. The energy of evaporation for steam at 212 Fahrenheit was taken at 970.3 BTU per pound, making the product equal to 34.5 times 970.3 or 33,475 BTU per hour. Usually, this figure is approximated at 33,500 BTU per hour. So, meaning, yung Modulus power derived in English units. Thus, the modulus power is equal to W times H2 minus S1 over 33,500, in which W is the steam generated by the modular tube, economizer and superheater, in pounds per hour. S1 is the enthalpy of water in theory, economizer, with your per pound. Kasi yan ang una. H2 is enthalpy of steam, leaving the boiler or superheater with your per pound. That means, pinaka, kung wala kang superheater, sa boiler. Kung may superheater ka, doon sa superheater. Kasi mag yan ang task, superheater. Then, because power boiler do not generate steam at 200 Fahrenheit, the actual change of water in passing to the boiler compared with the latent energy of evaporation at 212 Fahrenheit is called the factor of evaporation. Thus, factor of evaporation is equal to F, is letter F, is equal to H2 minus H1, over 970.3. And the equivalent evaporation is F times W. And then, modulus power is equal to F times W over 24.5 or the equivalent evaporation over 24.5. At, at the time, these terms were standardized for boiler or power. Boilers could develop one boiler of power with 10 square feet of boiler heating band view. Therefore, the manufacturer's boiler of power is defined as 10 square feet of boiler heating surface. Surface areas for superheaters, economizer, or air heater are not included as boiler heating surfaces. Therefore, the terms of boiler of power, etc., are meaningless for large modern steam generators. Consequently, this surface, 12 square feet for fire tube boiler, was adopted as a rating for boiler of power. So take note, this 10 square feet is for water tube and 12 square feet is for fire tube. So it is common for even small modern boilers to generate more than one boiler of power with 10 square feet of heating surface. Most boilers can develop 150% of rating, 200% is common, and some units can be exceeded 400%. When percentage of rating is defined as Boiler rating is equal to boiler of power times 10 over the boiler heating surface. So example number nine. Determine the factor of evaporation, equivalent evaporation, boiler of power, and the boiler rating percentage for the following. 
no? More than I think is always expressed as percentage. So, pag may nag-dry sa inyo, hindi percentage ng inyong Steam output, per hour, 3,000 pa, 3,000. Steam ratio, PSI absolute is 135. The moisture is percentage, ma. Feed water is 120. Surface, the boiler and water volume, is Square feet is 1330. Yan. So, this is also considered as a boiler, a water wall. Part of boiler siya. Okay. Dito kasi sinabi, hindi kasama yung superheater, ikaw naman sa editor. So, water wall is different. So, given, steam output, W is 8,000 pounds per hour. Pressure is 135 PSI. Moisture, Y is 0.01. Feed water temperature, T sub F is 120 Fahrenheit. Surface area is 130 square feet. So, okay. So, nandubli yung given. Tanggalin natin. Ayusin natin na. Okay. So, required factor evaporation. B, equivalent evaporation. C, boiler nose power. T, boiler rating. Solution, steam quality is X is 1 minus Y. Or 1 minus 0.01 or 0.99. At 135 PSI absolute, S sub F is 70.4 BTF per pound. S sub F is 323 BTF per pound. So S sub 2 is equal to S sub F plus X. And S sub F T is 322 plus 0 0.99 times 70.4 is 1183.7 BTF per pound. At 170 Fahrenheit, pin water is S sub 1 is equal to S sub F is 87.7 BTF per pound. Then the factor A, A, factor of evaporation, F is equal to X2 minus X1 over 970.3 is equal to 1183.7 minus 87.7 over 97.3 is 1.1293. B, equivalent evaporation F times thermal is equal to 1.1293 is equal to 9034.4 pounds per hour. The letter C is equal to modulus power. F W over 34.5 is 9034.4 over 34.5 is equal to 261.787. Then boiler rating is the boiler power times 10 over boiler heating surface is equal to 261.87 times 10 over 150 is 1.969.